Welcome back in, Trey Lowell here with Lowell Productions. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Rokinon 7.5 millimeter fisheye lens for Micro Four Thirds cameras coming up next. So as a Micro Four Third shooter, one problem that I run into from time to time is going to be, is my lens wide enough? Now with the 7.5, that's never gonna be an issue. But from time to time, I use the 14 to 42, and what I find is it's just not wide enough. Now, today's video, we're gonna hone in on the 7.5 millimeter fisheye lens, and we're gonna see, is it too wide or is it the perfect fit for vlogging? Now, one thing we'll go ahead and do is get a little bit of a behind the scenes. Now, we're also shooting 4K 10-bit on the Panasonic GH5. We're using IBIS, but let's take in consideration that the actual lens itself does not have any kind of image stabilization built in. So. Just real quick, drop a comment in the comment section below of what you guys think so far. Now, one thing that you're gonna find and it's gonna come in handy is that with this particular lens, it's going to be a super lightweight option when paired up with the Panasonic GH5. So this 7.5 millimeter, when kind of doing vlog style, is super lightweight and also means that I can use a very tiny tripod. Now, rather than talking about this particular option and what it looks like inside, let's put it in a vlogging environment and go ahead and take a look at how it performs outside. And now, for the first time, walking right outside. Now please consider that we do not have any kind of ND filter on here. This is gonna be the first time that we have taken it out, walking about, and really just trying to figure out, is this too wide? Is this a good option? And honestly, how is the stabilization as well? Are we getting any wobbling on the edges? or so far so good. Now, if anyone's wondering what the kind of setting setup is for this current situation, we are pretty much just going full auto ISO because we're out outside and I'm gonna crank up that f-stop quite a bit. And like I said, in the studio, we do have IBIS, but overall that is pretty much just to give us a fighting chance in regards to this particular lens, because without it in the camera, honestly, the stabilization would probably be pretty garbage. And here we go. From what I can see so far, we're looking all right. Probably a little bit dark, but that is to be expected, especially considering I'm shooting at a pretty high IS, shooting at a pretty high F stop. Actually currently shooting roughly like a F, uh, an F5, 6, F5. And here I'll give you a little bit of a B-roll glimpse. It's our kitty. Hey kitty. How's that footage look so far for you guys? Kitty. No. All right, you wanna go inside? Well, this is perfect. A little bit of a glimpse into how this is performing. All right, kitty, you wanna go inside? if she'll still shooting that 10 bit 4k 24 frames and yeah I think the main conclusion that I want to come to with this particular setup ooh, probably way too dark is going to be does it distort the face does it actually make it kind of look a little too fisheye where it wouldn't even be usable because the one thing that we're definitely gonna notice from time to time is that if it does have that fisheye effect, it's really not gonna be a valuable option. But if it doesn't, then the 7.5 might be something that a lot of us should take a look at. So let's hop in the edit bay and see how that footage looks. Okay. Okay, so at this point, I haven't seen any of this footage, but you guys have. And to me, the maker or breaker is honestly gonna be the fisheye effect. In the past, I felt like it was so fisheye that I really couldn't use it, but I wanted to give it another try with the Panasonic GH5 in more of a vlog style mode, really just to get to understanding of how does it really look and could it be usable in regards to just going strictly vlogging. All right, so far, what I can see is that there's not too much distortion in the face. It's if you're really gonna get nitpicky, there is some bending on the sides, but considering most of the time you see me, I'm in the middle. Oh, let's see. And 
now for the first time let's see stabilization and stuff is not too bad you know we want to put to the test so the overall conclusion in regards to this piece of glass would be, I do think it could be a valuable option in regards to the Panasonic GH5 shooting 4K 10-bit and then having that IBIS within the camera. Stable footage, beautiful footage, and because you're going to be shooting that 4K, it's not going to be as fisheye if you were shooting 1080p. The further you go down in regards to those resolutions and the wider or the less crop there is, the more you're going to get that fisheye. So I find with the 4K 10-bit, it's going to be what you guys saw. Stuck with that the whole time. And I think it could be a valuable option for vlogging. Like I said, the distortion to the sides, not going to be something you're going to want to shoot a lot of B-roll. But if you're doing a lot of walking and talking and you're doing big wide landscapes, I think that this could be a valuable option coming in at $300. Now, as far as ND filters, I don't have one, so I'm just going to have to crank down that f-stop in regards to being outside, and that's kind of what we did doing the auto ISO as well. But overall, I felt pretty comfortable in regards to the vlog look that I was going for, but that might be the extent of it. But I'd love to hear your guys' feedback in regards to how you thought the footage looked and the overall feel. Was it distracting or was it too fisheye? But hey guys, it's Trey Lowell with Lowell Productions. And as always, I hope you guys found this video interesting. And if so, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you like the content I keep creating for this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh boy, I don't think you're too fish eye.